Welcome to our Tiny Tot Worship. Welcome, and girls. We're so happy that you've joined us. And do you know what? Jesus is happy that you've joined us too. It makes Jesus so happy when we take time to spend with him. But first, let's have a prayer and ask Jesus to join our worship. Christiana, could you have a prayer for us? Yes. Close your eyes and fold your hands, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, help us to have a good worship. Help us to love you and us to love you, everybody to love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Today, we're going to be talking about keeping our minds on Jesus. You know, that's really important, boys and girls. And our special guest is going to help us with some ideas on how we can keep our minds on Jesus. But, you know, one way we can keep our mind on Jesus is to be careful what we see and what we hear and what we say. I know a song about that. Let's sing that song, boys and girls. You sing it with us. Ready? Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Do not fall in love, then he's looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Hey, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. There's a Father up above, and He's looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Okay, how about our lips? Oh, be careful, little lips, what you say. Boys and girls, you've been working on a song for me, haven't you? Huh? All right, let me hear this special song. Oh, you're going to like this, boys and girls. What song are you going to sing? Philippians 4, 8. Okay. Oh, what should we think about? Oh, what should we think about? Oh, what should we think about? Sing so great, found in Philippians 4, 8. Oh. Like that song, kids. That's exactly what we're talking about. What kind of things we should think about to keep our minds on Jesus, huh? Uh -huh. Let's say our memory verse. Colossians 3, 2. Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above. Set your mind on things above. Not on earthly things. Not on earthly things. Okay, it's time for our guest. Carter, you can open the door. Oh, it's Mr. Rich Aguilera. It is. Mr. Rich host the Nature Time on Kids Time. Welcome, Mr. Rich. Welcome. Thank Looks you, Looks like kids. Mr. Chef Rich. That's right. How many of you guys have a favorite food? <gasps> yeah, we all have a favorite food, right? Yeah? What's yours? Mm. Do you like French fries? Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. How about you, Ben? Corn on the cob. That's a yummy one, isn't it? What's your it? favorite food? Apple. Oh, that's yummy. How about Christy? Like corn in the cob. Oh, we love corn here. Well, I'm going to make a special recipe today, and I think you might like it. It's an ice cream sundae. <gasps> oh, 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 this is going to be good. This is going to be. Let me get ready. You guys sit there. First thing we got to do is make sure we have a nice, clean working area. So I'm going to put a little towel here so that we can make our sundae, right? Now, we can't have a sundae. We can't just put it on our towel. So I'm going to get us a bowl, and that's where we're going to make our sundae. We're in good shape. But we can't just eat it with our hands, can we? No. We need a spoon. All right, here we got our spoon. Okay, 
I think we're all set, right? We can start making our Sunday. Yeah. Okay. What do you think is the first thing we need? A bowl. A bowl. No, we got what, our bowl. What, but what no. now? Milk. We got to put some ice cream in our bowl first. I got some ice cream right here. Oh boy, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. All righty, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put a few scoops. Does anybody here like ice cream by any chance? Me. Okay, just want to make sure we're, we're good. Everybody here likes ice cream. Oh yeah, I'm going to put a big old scoop right in there. And there's a lot of us, so I'm going to put a whole nother scoop in here. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. We got our bowl of ice cream. But an ice cream sundae needs more than just ice cream, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we need to put some toppings on there, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What should we put on it? How about some, some broccoli, maybe? <laughs> no? <laughs> How about uh, asparagus? <laughs> no? How about spaghetti? No. no. Let me see what we got over here that we can put on here. Oh, I know what I got here. I got some nuts. I got some little nuts, some walnuts. So I'm going to sprinkle some nuts on there. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. This is going to be good. You know what? I was just wondering, would one of you guys be willing to taste our Sunday when we're done? Okay, okay. Just want to make sure we have we just want to make sure we have some tasters available cuz we can't make this beautiful Sunday and, and not have somebody taste it, right? All right. What else can we put on our Sunday? I'm going to put some chips on here. Some some little chips on there. All right, uh, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good here. Um, I think we can still probably do some more stuff to it, I think. Hmm, what else do I got over here? Oh, I've got some little marshmallows. Should we put some marshmallows on there? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is going to be good. Do we still have some people that are willing to taste this for us? Okay. Thank you so much. But we're going to wait till we're done, right? Yeah, because this, this is a work in progress. This is going to be magnificent. This is going to be great. So we got ice cream. We've got some chips. We've got some nuts. We've got some marshmallows. Oh, we're, this is great. Prepare. Okay. Mm, oh, I know what else I'm going to put on here. You I'm going to put on some of these colorful little candies on there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Just a few, just a few right there. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it? Mmm, man. All right. Let's see. What else can we put on there? Oh, oh, I know. I know exactly what we need to put on there. We need to put some sprinkles on there. Oh, 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 oh. here we go. Some little sprinkles on there. Just a few. Mmm. Is that looking good or what? Is, are you guys still willing to taste this for me? Okay, 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 good, good, good. I just want to make sure. I think we're almost done. Oh, let me see if we got some more stuff we can put on here. Because that's looking mighty good. Oh, I got some syrup I want to put on it. Here we go. Right on top there. A little bit of syrup. Oh, yeah. That is looking good. Looking colorful, looking yummy. This is going to be good, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I know something else we need. How can I forget? We need some gasoline. No! But I'm just going to put a tiny little bit. No! Oh, don't worry. It's, it's going to be delicious. No! Just a tiny little bit. Whew. Kind of stinky, isn't it? Ah, all right. Okay. I think we're done. Who's ready to taste? You want to taste that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I want to taste it either. It was pretty good, wasn't it? But then I ruined it, didn't I? By putting gasoline on it. You can make more. Yeah, if we eat this, it's going to make us sick, isn't it? Yeah. Even though the majority of this sundae is pretty good, but I put a little bit of bad stuff on there, and now the whole thing's ruined, isn't it? I can't eat this, it'll make my tummy sick. Mm -hmm. You know what that reminds me of? There's a lot of things in the world that Satan is trying to put into our minds and into our hearts. There's TV shows, and there's books, and there's music, and there's movies, and video games. And sometimes we think, well, it's, it's a pretty good book, or it's a pretty good TV show. There's just that one little bad part. But you know what? Even if it's mostly good, but there's one little bad part in there, the whole thing gets messed up. 
the whole thing is bad. We can't eat this Sunday. It's going to make us sick. And if we put those bad things in our minds, those bad TV shows and those bad video games, it's also going to hurt us and make us sick in our head because we're going to be seeing things that, that are not good for us, right? We have to be very careful what we put into our minds and into our hearts because we have an enemy that's trying to sneak things into us by saying it's mostly good, but there's that one little bad part. And we have to be able to say, nope, I don't want to put it. If there's anything bad in it, I'm not going to put it in my mind, in my stomach, in my heart, in my anywhere in my body, right? We have to be able to say, no, I don't want to put that in my mind or in my hearts. Even if it looks good, but we ruined it with that little bit of gasoline, we have to ask Jesus to help us to know when to say no and not to let those bad things into our hearts, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to move this right over here so that nobody accidentally eats this. And maybe later on, we can make a really good yummy sundae that we can really eat that's with all good stuff. Thank you, Mr. Rich. You're welcome. Boys and girls, what did you learn today? Carter, that. what did you learn today? About with when a Keeping our eyes on Jesus. And our minds on Jesus. What? So what does that tell us? That, that we, if we put a little bad part in it, then it's the all ruined. The whole thing's ruined, right? That's yeah. right. So if we see something on TV, if something comes on TV and we know we shouldn't see it, should we go ahead and watch it? No. no. Because we need, just like our memory verse said, set your mind. That means put your mind on things above. That means things in heaven. We should always be thinking of Jesus and not on things of this earth because we want to go to heaven with Jesus, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you for telling us all this, Mr. Rich, because this is important. Let's have a prayer right now and ask Jesus to help us keep our minds on him. Carter, would you have a prayer for us? Let's sing our prayer song. I will bend my knees. I will fold my hands. I will bow my head. I will close my eyes and very, very quiet be. Dear Jesus, we thank you. We love you. And we thank you that we have a good worship. And we want you to set our minds on you. Amen. Amen. That's Mr. Rooster. That's all the time we have for now. Bye-bye.